Dear Noah, I have never met anyone that makes me feel the way that you do. I have never felt so cherished, safe, and known. I started to get to know you as a friend, and little did I know I was getting to know my best friend for life. I vow to always make our friendship a priority and just never stop getting to know you. Noah, ever since I told you that I had feelings for you, every decision has been easy to make. You know how much I hate making decisions. <laughs> I pretty much knew I was going to marry you about two months in because of how much peace I've always had about you and our relationship. That's been one way God has been showing me that you are what he has for me. Life with you is easy. I get to spend every day with my best friend. Even if it's a hard day, you listen to me and go in fix it mode to try and make it better. Noah, I vow to always be a listening ear. Yes, even when it's about the guardians. <laughs> to ask questions so we both know how you're feeling. <laughs> and to adjust to your needs. Noah, thank you for loving me so well and showing me what unconditional love is. I am so excited to start this next chapter of our love story and to spend the day celebrating with all our favorite people. And Noah, I promise that I love you more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Morgan, as I stand here today, I am brought back to the first time that we met, the summer that you unknowingly walked into my life and changed everything for the better. I am truly blessed to have found a woman like you, one who is grounded in her faith, filled with compassion for others, and one who possesses the most selfless heart I have ever met. As your husband, I vow to keep you first, with a relationship grounded in our faith and compassion. I vow to protect you, to be faithful to you, to love you as God loves us. You continually challenge me to be a better man, and I vow to always strive to be that man that you deserve. The first part of our story has taught me a lot about myself, about faith, and about the beauties of life more than any time before, which I am grateful for. But today, our next chapter begins. I do not know what the rest of our story will look like, but if you're standing by my side, I know it'll be a fairy tale. Morgan, I can't wait to start this adventure side by side for the rest of our lives. But I've been searching for something yeah. It's been so long trying to find Somewhere Morgan, did I tell you I love you today? I love you today. Thank you, Morgan, for being such a great young adult, beautiful bride, and you will always be daddy's little girl. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to comfort you in the valleys and celebrate with you on the mountaintops. I promise to laugh with you and to cry with you and to continuously grow with you. I promise to never stop dating and learning about you, dancing and singing with you even when you don't know the words. I promise to care for you always and continue to find joy in all things. I promise to always make the bed, <laughs> always have chapstick, and to watch all the Guardians games I can handle. 
I promise to not make you watch every Guardians game. I promise to put God in the center and choose you every single day. I promise to put God in the center and to choose you every single day. And I promise that I love you more. And I promise that I love you more. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Noah, you may now kiss your bride. Morgan and Noah fell together like you see in the movies, where there was once nothing except Noah's hopes and dreams. <laughs> there was now everything. A single conversation changed the course of their lives forever. You're welcome. For those who are curious, the conversation went something like this. Noah went to Morgan and said, hey, I really like you, and Noah proceeded to sit in stunned silence for about a minute, just silent on the couch. After the shock wore off for everyone, it was easy to see why these two were destined to happen. Morgan has the kindest heart of anyone you will ever meet. Her empathy knows no bounds, and those who are lucky enough to know her will feel valued and important because she makes sure you feel her support whatever city you're in. Noah is the guy you call when you need a ride to the airport. He is consistent and steady, mostly because he hates change, but... <laughs> Also because he is an anchor in the lives of those around him. It has been one of the greatest and grossest joys of my life, watching the two of you fall in love. We hope that your love continues to grow each and every day and pray for a lifetime full of love, laughter, and lots of coffee dates. Be sure to carry the excitement and joy of this beautiful day with you today and throughout your whole marriage and never stop celebrating even the littlest of moments. We love, we you, love both. you both. Cheers. Cheers. my love I will bring all my devotion with all of my heart all my emotions today